Hey guys, welcome back to week four of the PAC. Uh, I know there wasn't a team builder for this week, but that is because I was on vacation and I unfortunately didn't have a time to put together a team builder. So while in the battle, I'll do my best to explain what I have and why I brought it while I use it. Um, but right now we're just waiting to connect to our opponent, Gengar, and I'll see you guys in the battle. All right, it looks like we found Gengar. Now let's see what they are bringing to the battle. Okay, and they, they brought pretty much what I thought they would bring. Um, let's see. What are they going to lead with? I'm thinking they're either going to lead with Zapdos or, uh, what is it called? Great Tusk? What I'm thinking I want to do. I think it's a good idea to just lead with, uh, what's it called? Rotom and go from there. Oh, wait, we're going to... We're gonna want to give Zorark an illusion. I almost totally forgot about that. <laughs> that would have been unfortunate. But hopefully it all goes well. Like I said, I unfortunately didn't have too much time to prep this week, but I think I did a decent job. I am definitely scared of the Weavile and the Hydreigon, just because I did realize in the prep that I am very weak to Dark. I don't know how I didn't realize that when making my team, but very weak to that. And so those two threats are very scary with stuff like Knock Off or like uh, Dark Pulse, but let's see. Let's see what they brought. I'm really hoping it's Great Tusk. Ooh, I love this battlefield. Okay, so they start with Weavile. I think right now would be a great opportunity to just Will-O-Wisp. Just get a burn on something, make it so it does less damage. One of the things that I am a little wary about is I didn't really practice with too much Terra on the opponent's mod. So I'm not sure what they might want to um, go ahead and Terra. But it looks like we're going to get a burn off on uh, Hydreigon. I don't think this is going to be a physical set. Obviously it's a Hydreigon, probably Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, stuff like that. But we'll see. And this thing is definitely going to outspeed me. Should I just hard switch? I think it'd be good to I don't I don't see it going for flamethrower. Probably be good to just switch into Corviknight. That might be an obvious play, but if it is, oh well. And Corviknight's here for the Weavile and Hydreigon to try and body press against them. Okay, they set up Stealth Rock. I can I can get behind that. I am... I'm going to U-turn. Or not U-turn, substitute. Because that gets me into a safe position. I can defog away whatever, or I can just straight up U-turn, depending on what my opponent switches into, or if they decide to stay in. If they switch out, I'm pretty sure they're going Zapdos. I don't see why they wouldn't go Zapdos. Okay, so they Dark Pulse, hopefully they don't flinch. Okay, cool. So I get the sub up. And I reveal that I have leftovers. Now they might... They might go Hoopa, expecting a body press. But that's why I'm gonna defog. Okay, it looks like they're just going for it. Which, probably the better play on their part. We'll see if they really want those um, stones up. I think I'll just 
go for a body press this turn. I don't really have anything to lose after that. Yeah, so they do really want this to come across up. Oh, they had, okay, they had the fighting type fairy, that's why. That, that makes sense. Now, I think I should be able to live just one more. So I think I'd rather just go for a body press and knock this thing out. Or actually, I'll go for the, I'll go for the defog. Don't flinch. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate, but good. Oh, excuse me. Good for my opponent. Let's see. Good news is Hydreigon is lowered. Um, I don't really see why I would keep this thing in. I, I, why I would switch this thing out, but yeah. Okay. We are going to defog, just thought me off chance. Yeah, okay. And then, where do we go from there? So... I think it would be good to go ahead and use Zorark. I will reveal that this is Zorark, unfortunately. But, I think that'll be fine. Uh, we can go ahead and, I think a Shadow Claw, should a Shadow Claw kill it by this point? Shadow Claw will kill. Will it? I mean, I'm probably gonna be, I'm banking on it. We'll, we'll have fun. If they go into Hoopa, that's the best case scenario. If they go Weavile, it's most likely outspeeding me anyway. And if they go Weavile too, I can just switch into Rotom. Okay, so they, they drop a Draco, which is really unfortunate. I thought I'd be faster. What is this? Thing? It must be max speed. That is really unfortunate. Um, okay. What if... Oh, you know what it might have been? They probably saw that I didn't take... I took more Stealth Rock damage than I would have as Ursa Luna. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go into Rotom. We'll be able to take a hit. And we'll kill it with Hydro Pump. Oh, okay, so they, they switch out. They go in Azumarill? They go in Zapdos, okay. Let's see how much this Hydro Pump does. Okay, Hydro Pump is half, but they got leftovers, dang it. Um, would it be better to just hard switch into Ursa Luna? Are they gonna Volt Switch or are they gonna Hurricane? find out. 
They might be doubling too. They double good play on them. Looks like they're taking a little bit of time. I do think that means they're going for the hurricane. So they didn't switch out. Are they going for hurricane? No, the U-turn. Okay, that's smarter. Forgot that thing gets that. And they're going straight into, what's it called? Azumarill. And if they don't go into Azumarill, it's Weavile. be able to live a hit, and I'm gonna Draining Punch. If this thing is Terra Ice, though, then I'm pretty sure we die. It is. Okay. <laughs> Hydro Pump again. Something tells me that the Zapdos has Volt Absorb instead of Static. So I don't feel like, um, what's the word? Okay, so they just sack Hydra again. Somehow have to get rid of the Zapdos and keep Rotom alive, and then Tauros can put in work. Okay, so this is going for U-turn again. We're just gonna Hydro. Leftovers. Nothing wants to take a discharge. What does? Uh, but Weavile would come in and kill it. Okay. Articuno. Zapdos is definitely faster than Articuno. So I'm saying we just. Yeah, we go. Tauros. 
man. The only thing we can do is close combat, unfortunately. Um, they might switch in Koopa. No, they just let this thing stack. Um, battle's not looking great for us. However, if we play smartly, we can at least probably get like another kill. We'll see what they switch. Yeah, so Azumarill comes out. If this thing is Assault Vest, then good on them. I will not be losing it. Um, I do want to save Articuno and Terra for flying type Hurricane. Uh, it does have liquidation, so that's fun. I will outspeed it though, so we're gonna Earthquake and get some chip damage on it. doesn't do too much, unfortunately. Again, if this thing is Assault Vest, we're pretty much dead, I'm sure. Um, and that's the game. But, hopefully we can get this thing and secure us one more kill, at least. Let's go for the Hurricane. Okay, so we get another kill, that's great. Um, but unfortunately, Weavile does just come in and knock us out. Or wait, yeah, yeah, Weavile would knock us out. If, for a second, I thought we were psychic type. No, we're still flying. Oh, they might be thinking I'm Choice Scar. Instead of Assault Vest. Okay, but they do send in Weavile, so that's the game. Unless they misclick. But I doubt they would. Um, yeah, the Hurricane's just gonna do more. GG. Alright. I had a lot of fun with you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, next week, we will try to get at least a few more kills. Uh, thank you for the battle, Gengar. Hope you had a fantastic time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.